This tutorial is to give you an overview of how to use SkyDrive. SkyDrive is just one of the many options that are out there, freely available on the internet, for uh, participating in what they're calling now cloud computing. Cloud computing is the term that they're using to refer to using online resources for your computing, whether it's uh, programs that are online that you can use, or storage space online that you can use. There, are, Like I said, there are many options online, but the one that I want to talk about today is SkyDrive because it's the one that's available to you through your student email account. So let's just go through the process real quick of how to get to SkyDrive. And I just want to show you some of its major features. First, of course, you want to get online. And I suggest the quickest way to SkyDrive is to just go to skydrive.live.com. It will take you right to a login. It's going to look very similar to your login that you come to when you are going to get into your student email account. The truth is, if you go into your student email account, you can get to SkyDrive from there as well. But if you go ahead and just log in to your student email account using your Bigfoot login and password, you're going to find yourself here. This is SkyDrive. It's been recently updated, and it's going to look pretty similar to maybe this Explorer window on your computer. It's been designed by Microsoft, so it has a lot of the same symbols, the same look, and it works in a lot of ways the same way. Basically, this is like having a hard drive on the internet that is available to you anywhere to go. So for instance, if you store information here in your SkyDrive account, you can gain access to it from school or from anywhere where you have a computer attached to the internet. It breaks it down for you into some of these folders, favorites, my documents, public, and shared favorites. I'm going to go through a little later why you might want to use some of these other folders. But for right now, let's just talk about the my documents folder, which is probably primarily where you want to store most of your documents. Of course, when I say document, what I really mean is any kind of file. You can store any kind of file here in your SkyDrive account, whether it's an image, a video file, Word document, whatever. They give you the opportunity to create within each folder as many folders or subfolders as you like. And you can do that by going to this little symbol right here where it says create folder. And once you have created a folder, then of course you can put in as many subfolders or files as you like. The only limitation being that you can, can't exceed 25 megabytes per file. Let me just go through the process with you of placing a file into your iDrive account. It's very easy. Simply click the Add Files button. You're going to have a window come up that looks like this. You click this link right here where it says Select Documents from Your Computer, and you have a little Explorer window come up, and then you can go through and find whatever file that you wanted to put, up, put into your account and hit Open. You can also select more than one file at a time. So what you want to do there is just take several documents at once, select them at once, hit open, and it's going to queue them up. And since these are all very small files, it did it very quickly. But if I had put in, say, 20 files and some of them were larger, it would queue them up and do them in order. And once they've all been uploaded, then you get this. It's going to look like continue. And then those files that were previously on your computer are now in your SkyDrive account, and they can be accessed then from anywhere. The great thing about SkyDrive is that if you are working with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or OneNote document, you can also open up your document right here in SkyDrive and work on it in the web apps that come with SkyDrive option. For instance, if you have a Word document, to open it up. You can look at it here or you can edit it here by hitting edit in browser. The Word web app comes with most of the tools that you would need to work on a basic school paper. So the things that you will probably need when writing papers for school are going to be in your Microsoft Word web app. Same goes for Excel and PowerPoint and OneNote. So once it has opened up your document, you can edit it and use any of these tools here that you find in the, the web app. So that's one of the real pluses of using SkyDrive is that you have that option and you don't have to have Microsoft Word or Excel installed on your 
system, whatever system you're working on, you can go ahead and use the web apps that are right there in SkyDrive. So you have the option of placing information here, viewing the information you've placed here. If you have a image, it's going to give you a thumbnail of the image and you can put together slideshows of images of photos from SkyDrive. So there's just a lot of great things you can do here. If you want to look at a specific file's information or do something with a specific file like delete it or move it, what you do is you want to click on this little link here, this little I, and you get the, a bunch of options. It's going to tell you what kind of document you're dealing with. You can view it in the browser, edit in the browser, open in Word, um, look at the history of the document, how it's been changed over time. Download it, download it onto whatever computer you're using so you can use it uh, with your regular application of Word that, that you have installed on your computer. You can move it, copy it, rename it, or delete it. And also, you can share it. Now, the sharing aspect of this is extremely important because when you're working in at school on a project with other people, having the ability to share your project amongst yourselves is one of the big pluses of using SkyDrive. Previous to SkyDrive and services like it, you would have to either hand around a hard copy of a, of a document to each other or hand around a file on a disk or a thumb drive or email things to each other. And the trick with that is when you're working with multiple people on a project is that you lose track of what version you're working with and it can be kind of tricky. Well, SkyDrive really does solve that problem. And let me show you how to do that. What you want to do is set up a folder that is going to be shareable with other people. They have one set up here for you, these shared favorites. And you really want to make sure that you edit the permissions for this folder to meet your needs. You can say that you want to share it with certain friends and then you just specify who those friends are. So for instance, if you had a school project and you wanted to share it with other people, then you would go in here, set it to friends, and then send each of your friends an invitation to your to this folder and then all of them when they go into their SkyDrive's account accounts would be able to find this folder full of documents or a particular document and that you can all work on together. So you put their address here and then specify whether they are able to view that file or whether they're also able to add, edit, delete, have con total control over it. Here you have an indicator of how much space you have left in your SkyDrive account. You have a maximum of 25 gigabytes of space here on your each in each SkyDrive account. It's free. It comes already set up with your Bigfoot account. If you are in your mail account and you want to get into SkyDrive, you can click on the SkyDrive link right here. It gives you a drop down. You can go straight to op opening up and starting a new Word document or Excel or PowerPoint or OneNote. Or you can just go right into your documents folder right from here and see what you've got. Work with what you have, move, delete, save, whatever it is you want to do. Go into a subfolder and just manage your files this way. So it's really important to understand that the safest place to put your files is probably into a service like this so that you don't have to worry about them being stuck at school on your H drive or you don't have to worry about losing your USB stick or any whatever type of method you have used previously to keep files handy. You might want to consider trying this because it really is the future of computing in a lot of ways. I think it's safe to say that more and more we're going to be archiving files into locations such as this because it's so much easier to get to them from all locations. And that pretty much wraps up my overview of SkyDrive. I hope you learn to use it. I hope you use it from the very beginning before you have a disaster with a lost file or a file that's been that's stuck at a school when you're at home and you need to work on it. And I hope you use it to share files with each other because I know that can make group projects so much easier.